I want to show you a video that was brought to my attention today by Matt Canavan. Here is Margot Andre from Pork Australia outlining the abuse and harassment she and her staff receive on a regular basis because of their work. People are allowed to have a voice. Yeah. That is fine. People are allowed their opinions. We don't even mind what food choice you choose. That's your choice. Yeah. But in no way do you have a right to violate people's private space, their personal reputation. Yes. They are coming to our office, they are pretending to be a plumber, for goodness sake, to get access to my office while they hide in toilets. This is what our farmers have been under for decades. Yeah. And it is not fair when mm. you cannot walk down to your sheds and open those doors confidently thinking you are safe, thinking your teams are safe. Yeah. They are doing their jobs and they are very proud to yeah. provide food in this country. It seems that the activists who profess love and kindness for animals behave with intimidation, threats and harassment when dealing with the farmers who work so hard to ethically produce our food. Why aren't they having the book thrown at them, James? Yeah, well, it's a case of activists behaving like animals, Amanda. The activists complain that the <laughs> pigs are, are stunned with gas before they're slaughtered and they're upset about that. Well, it's difficult enough to be a farmer without having activists trespassing, breaking equipment, threatening and harassing you. Margot, whose testimony we just watched, she told how she was inundated with 86 abusive phone calls within mm. 60 minutes from activists. The government have announced a parliament inquiry into the way that uh, pig abattoirs operate. So that inquiry should take its course. Meanwhile, police should absolutely throw the book at activists who continue harassing our farmers who are going about their lawful business.